What's going on guys? Welcome to the mountains. In the fall, about to do some trout fishing. Folks, I have found a brand new spot to fish here. In fact, a local told me about this. I was at a farmer's market, which I've been going to the farmer's market very frequently uh, these days. Making some friends there. And uh, this lady who loves to fish said, you know where you should go? You should come up to this bridge here. And all this is this little creek and this bridge crosses it, and she said this is one of her favorite spots to fish. So, I have driven up here on this drizzly morning to try it out. Love fishing brand new spots, but I am starving. I left the house without any breakfast. It was a little bit of a drive to get here. Um, so I'm gonna make some breakfast, and then we'll start fishing. And then after that, who knows? Yeah, I was going to use my little mini catch and setup, but I actually think I'm going to break out the griddle here. Aha! Check that out. So I got, yes, this is good. I'm glad I brought this. my friends after a delicious and sumptuous breakfast come down here at first glance I don't see any trout but a lot of times the fish if they're smart they hide out in the actual like dark shade of the bridge so Guys, I see a crawfish down here. I see a craw Let me see if I can catch him with a lure. Sometimes they'll bite a lure, especially if it has scent on it. Let's see. He got it. <laughs> he got my lure. Can I pull him up? Yes, I got him. <laughs> a crawfish, first catch of the day, folks. Check out how similar that color is. So the color of that tube is called crawfish. And look how they look exactly the like, at least on the top, not on the back, but on the top there. That is crazy. All right, set him right there. He still hasn't let go of it. Need my crawfish bag. I see it right there. I'll tell you what, folks, I have this little dive bag here. A lot of you guys have been asking about it, and it is so great. Look, he's still, he's just trying to take off with it. He still hasn't let it go. Hey, um, a dive bag is fantastic because you can put crawdads in it or trout, so it's better than a stringer. Look at it, he still is not letting it go. Let go. Come on. Come on. Look at him, he refuses. There. Gonna tear your arm off, man. All right, first catch of the day. I'm gonna see if I can find any more down there. Guys, I see a nice trout hanging out right under here. But he doesn't seem to be very interested in my tube. So this crawfish is just a little on the small side to eat. I mean, he's he's definitely edible, but he's a little on the small side. So what I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna use him as bait to try to catch that nice trout. I'm gonna kill him real quick. 
There we go. Twist off the tail. There we go, and I have that little chunk of meat there. And the real, not only is it real, but one of the things about using crawfish is the smell. And you can even smell them on your hands. And I've actually seen it before where a trout was swimming along the bottom. He wasn't interested in anything I was throwing, but I put a piece of crawdad on a, upstream of him, and immediately he started to go sniff around for it and seek it out. Oh, I see the trout. There are two of them, two nice ones. Two nice ones, folks. I mean, nice for a creek this small. Oh, they smelled it, but they swam away. Seeing these clear creeks, these trout can be real tricky sometimes. Guys, a crawfish has grabbed it. A crawfish has grabbed the bait. The trout were looking at it, and the trout's looking at the crawfish. Guys, I just caught another crawfish on a piece of crawfish, and this is an even bigger one. That is crazy. This is a big one right here. This is definitely an eater size. That is so funny. Like, he came out of the rocks to grab a chunk of his friend there. This is so crazy. I see the cr the trout down there looking at the bait. They're definitely interested. They're, they're kind of swimming all around, but it drifts to the bottom and out pops this crawfish and he grabs it instead. Oh, now I have a leaf. This is funny. Folks, I see another crawfish over there. This is turned, the trout won't bite, so I'm just sitting here fishing for crawdads instead. He's got it. He's got, I gotta let him take it a second. So you gotta get those crawfish. They get a taste of their friend and uh, it's so delicious that they can't let go. Okay, so he's had a good enough taste. Now I just carefully reel him in. Oh, he's swimming a little bit. He's swimming. He's on the top now. He's on the top. Can I, oh, here comes the lift and the lift is successful. Whoa, that's a big one. That is another eater right there. Well, the trout refused to bite but we're catching some hefty crawdads here. That is a thick crawfish right there, folks. That is a good trade-off to use a tiny one for one that big. Here's something you probably didn't know. Crawfish love bacon. Why? Because they're smart. They know what's good. Cut, about, cut it in about half here. That should be a big enough piece. I want a big enough piece here so it gets the craw's attention. That. And let's lower that down to the bottom, see how many we can get to come out. All right, hopefully no real fishermen come along here and see me doing this. They're going to think I'm crazy. So I have an underwater camera down there. Let's throw it down. Yeah, he can't resist the bacon. He's like me. He just can't resist the bacon. Boom, we got a first crawfish on bacon, folks. Even as I'm taking him back to the truck, he still keeps eating on it. He's suspended in the air. He's not even in his environment. And he's still chowing down. There. <laughs> I can see one coming out. The bacon's not even there. He's. He's just looking for it still. Let's drop the bacon on top of him. I've got him. Boom! 
another one. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not just having the red bag right by me. We're just gonna load it up. Load it up. These fish are straight up wanting it too. One of them dropped off, darn it. The lift? <gasps> no! I only got one! Shoot! Dang it! Yeah, there's still a bunch down there. Let's try it. I'm gonna try it again. I need to get like a double kill or a triple kill here. I think it's a triple. The lift. Can I get triples? I got triples. Woohoo! Look at that, guys. Triple crawdad right there. <laughs> All of them. So greedy. Look, he still has it in his mouth. That is so cool. All three of them are keepers, too. Wow. This is so fun. I didn't know I would come out here and do this. That's why you just got to get out, folks. You never know what's going to happen. Oh, man. He's feisty. These are all really nice crawdads, but you know, it makes sense. In these little trout streams, you're not exactly going to have, uh, they don't have any enemies. I mean, there's nothing in here big enough to mess with crawfish that size. So as soon as they get past, you know, say an inch and a half or two, they're pretty much safe from any trout that lives in here. It is a beautiful fall day out here, by the way. Wow. be three there might be this might be triples again there are three on it Did I, I got three more <laughs> look at that that is so cool who cares about trout fishing this is this is really fun well my friends 
I fished this bridge every way I knew how, um, just all through this area, and I, <laughs> I cannot catch a single trout in here, but the crawfishing is excellent. So I think I'm just gonna be content for some crawdads here, and I'm gonna cook them up in a way I've never done before. All right, so I set my little grill back up here, and let's light it up. There we go. Set the deep pan right there. I didn't eat all the bacon I had from breakfast, so we're gonna that off first. While I'm waiting for that to cook, I'm gonna come over and check my fishing line again. Let's see here. Oh wow, I didn't even see the bacon. Where did the bacon go? It's under, folks, it's under the bridge. Oh, there are two of them on it. Two more. Can I get doubles? Oh yeah, doubles. Oh, that's a big one. Oh wow, there is a mongo. I mean, of all of them I've been catching have been pretty nice. But this guy here, nice. Got some big claws. Look at those big meaty claws there, man. Wow, cool. Good grief, look how, guys, I don't think I've ever seen a crawdad with claws that long before. I know I have, and look how they're hooked at the end. Those are some vicious looking, like this guy right here is normal. Like that's what you normally see. What is with, this guy's got some mitts, man. I wonder what causes that, like why his claws are as long as his body, basically. So back to the cooking, got my bacon here. That's looking good enough, oh man. I love bacon. And you see all that grease in the bottom, folks. That's staying. Some of you know where this is going. So I have here a whole cup of butter. And I was gonna show you guys something really cool today that colonial people used to do with butter and fish. I don't have any fish, obviously, so I'm switching plans here. And uh, I'll save that for another day. I'll save the, the cool trick that colonial people used to do. And instead, we're gonna boil the crawfish in bacon grease and butter. So I have a whole cup of butter here, just melting it down slowly and mixed with bacon grease. These are gonna be the best crawfish I've ever had. Mm. Yes, I am already chowing down on the bacon. So I was debating whether or not to add anything to the butter and the bacon grease. But I think if the crawdads are boiled in that, there's no reason to add like a bunch of seasonings or anything. And here is the mongo one going, oh, there he is. And look, he has one in his claw. Good grief. I don't see why these aren't gonna just like taste phenomenal. Oh, wow. The smell is just delicious. Look, that crowd is splitting open at the back. That's a sign that they're done. Perfect. All of them, it's kind of splitting in the back there. Some it's obvious and some it's not. But like this one's real obvious. You see how it's like separating there. That's, oh, this is exciting. So as I'm removing the last few crawfish here, I'm wondering what should I do with this leftover butter? And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I'm definitely not going to throw it out. I'm going to take, I'm going to turn the heat off and take this home for something. This has to be used for something else. I think this might be the best plate of crawfish I've ever made. I have to taste test it because you never know. You never know with crawdads. Say a prayer real quick. What a phenomenal day. Even though the trout fishing was nothing it was still super fun that's why you just have to keep coming out all right so as i pull it apart you know butter is getting everywhere i feel like i said suck on the crawfish first because the outside's of course the outside of course is coated yeah you know i stuck the whole 
the whole tail in my mouth before I even need to start going. Otherwise, butter's gonna drip down. Wow. That is good. That is seriously good. Who needs a Zatarain's crap? Oops, shouldn't have said that. Well, I do like the Zatarain's crawdad boils. I do, I really do. But these, I mean, give them a butter bath. Soaks right in. Wow. And the bacon is very fine. I'm so glad that I found this little spot on this beautiful fall day. Look at this. All the trees are changing. It's so fun out here. Well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed this little uh, adventure here. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you guys in the next one.